Hey everyone, hope you are doing well. For this video, I will be giving you guys a tutorial on two of my favorite slicked back hairstyles that I like to do. I'm hoping that this video will be helpful if you struggle to slick back your hair and always get a lot of bumps and flyaways. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Okay, so I got out of the shower not too long ago and my hair is still damp, but as you can see, it's drying up. It's looking messy, I don't really like it. So on days where I don't have time to straighten my hair or leave it to air dry, the only option I have is to put it up. I'll be showing you guys how to do a slick tie bun and a slick tie ponytail with a plait. So the first thing I normally do is part my hair in the middle with a brush that has you know, like a metal bar or has like a thin line that is used for parting your hair. So now the next thing that I do is brush it. If you have curly hair and you brush them out, you know what the deal is. Your hair will become a big fuzzball. So since my hair is still pretty damp, a bit easier to brush out and kind of flatten the top. Yeah, this is the state of my hair right now. It's giving Hagrid elastics ready to go because my hair is really thick. I need a lot of elastics to hold it in. So I'm just going to brush in the direction that I want my bun to go in. Because my hair is so frizzy and I have a lot of flyaways and it's really thick, what I normally like to do is put on lots of gel and also cream just to hold in my hair a bit more. So I kind of just go in with this smoothing cream that's for like frizzy and dry hair. So I just get a decent small amount, rub it in together and then just go in the fronts of my hair. Just add as much as you think you need depending on your hair and also maybe if your hair is a bit more oilier because you haven't washed it bear with me it is going to look better trust the process trust the process okay and then i'm going to just brush it out again after applying the hair cream now i normally have to retie my hair multiple times because it's so thick and i always end up getting bumps that I didn't see before. I'm just gonna like roughly tie it up so that I can apply some gel and then I'll retie it again. This is always the really fun bit, you know? <laughs> okay, I had to move that lamp out of the way. I just kept hitting it. So the next thing that I do is get some gel and smoothing brush. You can use any brush really, but I prefer using one with soft bristles, which is really catered for smoothing out your hair, especially if you're doing like a slicked look. I get the gel and I start spreading it on top of my hair. I'm probably gonna have to apply many coats because as I've said, my hair needs it. It does not stay put. <laughs> Go in with the brush and just go over it. Just brushing it out. I'm just gonna take out the elastic again. It's also really important to add gel to the back of the hair as well. I also like to go in with some mousse. It really makes a difference with my hair. I'm just going back with my brush and pulling all those strands in. Whew! It's a whole workout for my arms. Oh, did you hear that crack? <laughs> okay, so now this part is really crucial and important. You have to deal with the flyaways. So I'm going to go in with the flyaway serum from Jolie Hair. It's so cute. I also love how it looks like mascara. Really go over those flyaways. Do you see the difference right now? Like amazing. You know what, I think I'm going to do the plait high ponytail look first and then I'll go in with the bun. I think it's just easier to do it that way. So just part it, get my three sections. Now because my hair is layered it is a bit trickier to do this so that's why I bring it out to the side. Okay so that's the braid done. I love how it looks. Honestly, this hairstyle is giving tennis player. Whether you have long hair or shorter hair, it's still an easy, quick look to do when you're on the go and you don't have time to leave your hair down or to straighten it or blow dry it. And if I still feel like I have flyaways or I still have bumps, then I just go in with some hairspray, just a simple thin brush like this, and I just spray it on the bristles like so. And I just go in and I 
brush and I slick. I love it, it's simple, it's cute. So now I'm going to be showing you how to do a high bun. So what I'm going to do is just take out the plait and just put my hair up in a bun. Just undoing the plait. I knew I forgot a step. So normally before I put my hair in a braid or a bun, I like to put in a define and clump cream just to add that extra moisture in my hair and to let it set in. I also am obsessed with this hair mask from L'Oreal. Just really smooths out the hair, especially if I'm doing a bun, I want my hair to be as smooth as possible. It also smells amazing, so that's a bonus. Before I actually start putting my hair in a bun, I will hairspray just where the ponytail is, just so it's extra firm, and just twist my hair as much as I need to. And just twist that around my hair. I think, that turned out pretty good. I actually really like it, it's really cute. This was pretty simple, pretty easy. But I think with this look, it's better if I go with bigger hoops. Okay, so I've just applied some lipstick on, added my hoops, and this is the final look. I love it. I'm so happy it turned out well. And I think that's because I added a lot of products this time. And I think that just made my hair more smooth and just easier to control. Let me know in the comments which hairstyle you liked more or if you liked both of them, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it helpful. If you'd like to see more different simple easy hairstyles, let me know in the comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a lovely day.